The Chimera have wiped out an entire continent. I've been fighting for two years, and now this war has taken everything from me. We got a live one in here! No, Johnny. It's his brother. You know the rakes. We can't let him live. When you lose your soul. When you lose your faith. Where's Lieutenant Grayson? We don't know, sir. He just went crazy. When you lose your freedom. Desertion in time of war is a capital offense. I am here to offer you a reprieve. You want to know about the conversion centers? We are close, Shanks. With your help, I can get the materials we need to finish it. The only thing you have left is retribution. Hello, everyone, and welcome back <laughs> <laughs> to Ben Plays. I'm Kevin Kalsik, Community Manager here at Ben Studio, and with me, <laughs> we're off to a great start. And with me, I have my partner, Kat, Online Community Specialist. Hi, Kat, how are you? I'm good, and to be honest, to be honest, it already started, like, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, it did. It's... Uh, Kat is in rare form tonight. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. Um... And it's just coffee. I don't know how much coffee she's drank today. She says two cups. I don't believe her. Why is everyone judging me by my coffee? You drink a lot of coffee, cat. It's my second cup. Sure it is. Sure it is. Even a lady at the store told me I had too much coffee. <laughs> Why? <laughs> See, the lady already knows you. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? We're so, we're so happy to be back. We were off last week. Tonight we are continuing with Resistance Retribution. 
And to all the women out there, happy International Women's Day from all of us at Ben's studio. My God, it is freaking hot in it here. It is. It is. This was the wrong attire to wear today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing a sweater, so. Yeah. I, yeah. So we're, we're in the same boat here. Yeah. What's up, Shank? Ethan? Oh. Mystery, hello. How are you? Yeah, we're, we are cozy. Spawnicus, what is up, my man? How are you? Sonic Death Monkey, Tooth, Dr. Pepper, Bubs, Evolution, Ethan. What is up, oh. Mace Plays? How are you all doing? Be freshness. It's so great to see you What's all. up, chat? How are you? Mm. Yeah, so for the people that were here two weeks ago, um, we were actually going to be doing a different stream today. So as you yeah. see, we're not doing that different stream. We are continuing re with Resistance Retribution. But do not fret. We are continuing our Women's History Month streams. They are just going to take place next Friday instead of this Friday. So... Uh, as you're all aware, there was craziness last week. We had to shuffle some scheduling. So next week, we'll start our Women's History Month streams hosted by Kat. Am I afraid? Maybe. <laughs> She's going to do great. Do I great. regret it? Maybe. <laughs> She's going to do great. You're all going to come <laughs> out and support her because I know you're all awesome. Uh, we're going to have a special guest from Ben's studio to join her for uh, every week. And then we're going to also have a special guest joining her from a different studio, including one from Naughty Dog, Santa Monica Studio, and San Diego Studio. And to go along with that, we're also doing our Girls Make Game Scholarship Fund charity stream to go yep. along with it. And there's going to be some really cool auction items, some awesome Days Gone autograph things that uh, developers in our studio have signed. Um, there's going to be multiple things. And yep. I'm excited to kind of be behind the camera and watch it all unfold. And judge me. And judge you, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep, mm. yep. I still feel like we should reapprove the credits just because, well, I mean, I'm not sure if I trust you with it anymore. I did. <laughs> I know, but I mean, for the stream. Mm. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> mm. And uh, for, the, for our regulars, you know, we have our Ben credits at the bottom of this chat. The more you watch, the more things you can do. We, we are going to switch them up throughout the year just to provide a little bit more fun. Are they a little bit different this week than they were two weeks ago? Maybe a tad. Maybe a tad. I knew I should have checked them. I was thinking the whole day. I told you, there was something, and I didn't know what it was. And I was, every time I walked pa past my desk, Aww. See, I'm fair. I'm fair. And we got three off of the back to back to back. Wow. <laughs> um, does saying something nice mean like, uh, Kat, you are not obsessed with coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. See, that's very nice. That's very nice. <laughs> I, because that's you one. started laughing, I'm not sure if it's it true. Was, it, but it <laughs> went straight from the heart. Yeah, straight from the heart. <laughs> We are back. What's up, Comic Blast? How are you? Gabe Logan, Eric Jensen, how are you doing, my friend? Yay. What is up? I'm not addicted. It's it's only an addiction if you experience it as an addiction. I don't see it as an addiction. I just see it as a better alternative to water. See? A better see? Uh, alternative to water? Yeah. Because, hmm. I mean, I drink a um, cold brew or an Americano. Yes. Which with basically, no sugar or anything. exactly, yes. which basically is an espresso with a lot of water. Okay. See. Yeah. Logic. I, I approve of this <laughs> logic. <laughs> 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 All right. So I, I got. I have four more things to say uh, to you as well from the beginning of this. So, but I'm. Look, everyone started redeeming that one, and Gabe Logan also redeemed spread the love. Because we all love you. Oh. And thank you so much for joining us again and, and kind of coming back. Like I said, we took last week yes. off. We are back on schedule. We will continue. Uh, for the, this is actually my last stream for the next, uh, for, the, for the rest of this month, actually. Wow. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Kind of excited for that one. Um, <laughs> so, your next three weeks, you are going to have Kat in here hosting every stream until the end of March. And then I will be back. Uh, first Friday in April. And I forget what we're playing, but it's it's something. It's something. Yeah. 
And it will be great. Yep. And we also, um, so you all reached our community challenge uh, that we've been doing. And so we're going to be playing Fall Guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to play Fall Guys with you. So if you want to play Fall Guys with us, we're going to go ahead and do that whole share server thing, whatever it's called. And we're going to jump on. We're going to play. Um, now, you also, all of you, voted for Friday. So, um, <laughs> so we don't have to do a different stream. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do it on a normal Friday, same time as usual. And we're, I was looking at the schedule today. And we have a pretty packed schedule all the way up through June. But we're going to throw it in May some Friday in May. I don't remember the number, but it's in May. We're going to do our Fall Guys stream with you, and it's going to be fun. So, Will there be food? Sure. There's always food. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Last Ninja Cow, what is up? Uh, Quincy Hearts, I love you all how people. are you? What is up? You yes, and I did come in a few days ago and um, make some pancakes. You did? I did. And people enjoyed it. We made three different batches of pancakes. We also had our normal, like, weekly breakfast that we get catered here at the studio. Yep. So we had a feast on Wednesday morning. True. People and enjoyed it. People enjoyed it. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, Tucker, shout out to him. He actually created a Kevin pancake. That I don't think I've actually shared on social media. No. No. It was amazing. It was. It, it had the beard, had the glasses, had the backwards yeah. hat, um, beanie today, but... It looked great. Yeah. And just so you know, we are researching possibilities to have like a Kevin form to make a pancake shaped like Kevin and stay like Kevin. When we will make that happen, we will post it. We will make a whole how-to video for you guys. Mm, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Everyone can have Kevin, Kevin pancakes. Why that not? That would be amazing. You know? That would be amazing. Yeah. Sam can bad man. What's wow. up? How did you? How? How are you? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're both we're we're doing stuff tonight. All right. I don't. Wow. Yeah. We're, Love the enthusiasm. We're, we're, <laughs> we're playing games and stuff. Uh, Danny Rocker seventy three. Hi. Welcome what? to the chat. Did Kevin pancake taste like mountains and burgers? No. They tasted no. like a breath of fresh air. What? And uh, Danny Rocker. Yes, we are aware yes. of the, the trophy bug right now, Resistance Retribution. We have already passed the information along, and they are working on a fix as we speak. So hopefully that will be, uh, be getting released very soon. So thank you all uh, for your feedback for Resistance. And it's just another thing. Awesome to see everyone playing Resistance Retribution, a game yep. that we released in 2009 on the PSP. And now it's gotten, got a little bit new life because you can play it on the PS4, play it on the PS5. We have trophy support. Go get a shiny new Ben Studio Platinum, add to the collection. And, you know, it's, and it's a fun game. I, I, you know, I enjoyed my time, I'm, and we're going to – we'll eventually stop talking here, and we we'll are? actually play the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at yeah. some point. At least that's what's supposed to that's happen. That's what's supposed least. to happen is what so, we're supposed yeah. to play the game. So I guess let's just do that, huh? Yeah. yeah. And just saying we haven't oh. had food in before this. So, it's going well. It is, yeah. So we did one stream of resistance so far. We we made pretty good progress. So now we're going to kick right back up from where we left off the last stream two weeks ago, and keep it going. Now, uh, because we said the next three streams are going to be uh, different. Stop saying that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to be taking a break from Resistance Retribution, and we'll come back to it in early April uh, to kind of continue this playthrough. But not with Retribution. We must follow the Are we? Carriers. Yes. They will lead us to the heart of Are you sure? Resistance? Yeah. Yeah, at some point in April. It's early April. It might not be the first Friday, but it's the second Friday. Or the third Friday. It's in April. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> it's going well. It started as a Friday, and it feels like a Monday already. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also got to kind of get back into the muscle memory. I've been playing some Batman Arkham at home. So now that is where my, my muscle memory is coming from and not resistance. That's good, though. 
Uh, Shank, I have yet, to, I have not played the new update from Spider-Man yet. I will, because I love Spider-Man, but I have yet to play it. Why aren't you playing Ghost of Tsushima? I already platinum Ghost of Tsushima, like, last year. Did I you platinum it? No. Hmm. But I still... <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Kevin, every time. Oh yeah, wait, hold on, I gotta say four more nice things. Um, Kat, you are amazing at what you do. What do I do? <laughs> Your job. <laughs> and also, Kat, you are very organized and dedicated, and you work really fast. Thank you. Have you seen my desk? Thank you. I have. Because my desk disagrees. We won't mention your desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's what what I see at your desk is. A hard worker is what I see. Oh, you know? yeah. So I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I appreciate you, Kat. Oh, yeah. Phil called it an organized uh, chaos. I like that. Exactly. Like that. Organized chaos is good. I'm not sure anymore what's on my desk. <laughs> ah! I need to I mean, get on this corner. There. Oh nope. Oops. There we go. Okay, uh, I did it. If you didn't know, resistance retribution, you can corner cover, and it's fantastic. I miss that in games. Yeah, just the automatic cover. You just kind of yeah. hug the wall there and he goes right to it. Which, you know, if you played Siphon Filter, uh, Logan Shadow especially, um, it's kind of like the same mechanics there. So we kind of took that from there and applied it to, to this. And I saw um, Bob's mentioning that when she was visiting Starbucks, they knew her name. Well, we have the same with I would say a few of the coffee houses here and I kind of felt bad about it. So my solution for it was just to take more people from the studio to get coffee. Now they know everyone's name. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel as bad. <laughs> when, I, when I went to our coffee shop right across the street here, they immediately knew who she was. Yep. And I kind of felt like a third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> It's like she's getting the employee discount, you know, and I'm just, it's like, oh, yeah, Kat, you want the usual? Yeah, you know. Wow. It's me. Who are you, guy? <laughs> just you know? to be honest, I always get the same, so it's not that difficult. Oh, I forgot the mine there. Ooh. Do you see all the love that you're getting in chat right now? I just want you to see that. I do. Yeah, I do. Good, good. But they know I love them, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, Resistance is an awesome IP, isn't it? Uh, I, I love it. I Retribution was actually my very first one, so I need to go back and play the other mm. ones. Oh, these mines. I hate those mines. I, I would be so bad today at playing that game. I was like, ooh, shiny. Let's walk towards the shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so warm in here? Oh my god, it, it's <laughs> abnormally hot. Oh no, I just fell down. I gotta get back up. All right, back. Ooh, and there's health. Got to get that health. Because once you're out of supplies, you're out of supplies. There's no, like, respawning or anything. It's just they're gone. There's another one. There's another yep. one. Let's see if I can get this guy. See, I'm used to playing Batman where he doesn't use guns, you know? Oh, yeah, Evolution. I think I saw where you said, uh, yes, I did try VR for the very first time. Um, I've always always hesitant to buy it because I know myself I get motion sickness pretty well. Um, so I never I just never forked out the money to buy it. Uh, but when Batman Arkham came out, I really really wanted to play it. I just didn't have the VR to play it. So I asked my my boy Dustin, wow. our QA analyst, um, to borrow it. And of course he's like, yeah man, for sure, because because cool. we're bros. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was able to find. Oh my god! And I was able to finally play it. Oh, I'm out of web. I'm out of uh, thingies. Aww. What's it called? Huh? Ammo. Ammo. That's what wow. it is. Yeah. Don't worry, Bob. I don't know. Okay. I, I hope no none of my baristas is in the chat. And if so, I really apologize. But I don't know any of their names. No, I know one of them from Starbucks. 
because wow. we are friends. Oh, okay. At this point, we are friends. Well, I'm glad. They I'm have they have the drink ready for me. Like when they see me walking see, in, awesome. they are like, "Here you are." I'm glad. Well, you know, I'm I'm happy that you're making friends at Starbucks too. Yeah. You know? I kind of feel sad because. The only friends I know at this point are either from the studio or the coffee house. Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't feel like a very healthy relationship. I mean, that's also me, so it's okay. okay. <laughs> Sweet See? Justice, what is up? How are you? One of the OG mongrels right there. Welcome. Nice to, f nice to see you here. How have you been? Broken road. Always riding the broken road, even when I'm not riding the broken road, all right? You have never had Starbucks? Is it because you Who? don't like Starbucks? Who hasn't had Starbucks? Taz Crazy Man. Taz Crazy Man, what is up? What's up? Can we do that whole like, oh, you probably don't even know that. There was a commercial with the lizards or the frogs, right? And they would just go, what's up? Isn't it from Scream? It was like Super Bowl thing. That too, it was in that. Scary movie. Scary right? movie, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Throwbacks right yeah. there. It was a very disturbing part where it would be like, what's up? What's that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, come on! <laughs> oh, wait, As someone I who has a minutes. coffee shop, we love coffee addiction. I, I bet you... <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And I mean, if you have a coffee shop, that's amazing. That's like a life goal out there. Wait, someone owns a coffee shop? Yes! What? So, I'm not sure if I told you that. I was thinking, because I'm drinking I don't want to say a lot of coffee because I love I coffee. coffee. Uh huh. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> because I love coffee, I was thinking like if I would work at a coffee shop, it would probably be easier because you just have so much coffee that you don't want any coffee. Well, that didn't work out. <clears throat> Let's say I had even more coffee, so that's not. No way. Not yeah. No, I would have never guessed. So I had a friend working there and he did with like the national barista challenges and he wanted to teach me more about coffee so oh he would no. be like take a coffee try this one try this one and you don't say no when someone gives you coffee no you never say no it's a freaking alien bugs again cat let me a cow three what is three cups of coffee what's three cups of coffee just saying where there are like maybe 12 espressos in it? Well, mm. maybe. Who maybe. am I to say how many <laughs> <laughs> And Tooth, I will not shut up because now I'm making you feel old, so you're welcome. Why? Because <laughs> we were talking about the, um, the What's Up commercials. Oh, yeah. Trollberg, did if I say hi to you? Okay. I think I did, but hi again. And Mysterio, Mysterio, mm. hello to you. I think I'm pretty sure I said hi, but I'm gonna say it again. Can we do a road trip and visit Where? the coffee shop, the Task Crazy Man's Coffee? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I would love to. That'd be great. All right, all those freaking bugs done. <laughs> well, to be honest, to f if Kevin knows it, that makes Kevin old. And am I older than Cafe than Kevin? Maybe. Who knows? Wait, Comic Blast has coffee shop. Oh. Is what I'm reading. As someone with a coffee shop, we heart coffee addiction. Comic we, Blast uh, has the coffee uh, shop. Uh, that is Can awesome. we visit you during a road trip? Wait, are you in yes. the United States? And if not, can we do a Europe coffee trip? That would be amazing. <laughs> it would be amazing. I could go for a coffee too. And Wait, I have coffee. And we know Comic Blast is a huge Spider-Man <laughs> fan, and that's bonus points for me. <laughs> and also a huge, uh, a big Days Gone fan now. Recently played that. So Comic Blast is just like just ticking up that order of like you're awesome, and then you're super awesome, and then you're magnificently that. awesome. I love that. Yeah, if there's tears to this. More important, do you get a patch after you reach? the super uber level of coffee lovers. Should. Should get a platinum trophy like I have in oh. Diablo 4. I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eric Jensen, <laughs> excuse me, sir. You are older than I. All right? You are older than I. I've got quite a bit of ways to go wow. before 40, so shut up, sir. <laughs> Gabe, 
Forever 21. So just want everyone to know, Eric Jensen is older than me by quite a few years. Just wanted to throw that out there. What is up, wizard? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. 30s is my prime. Not gonna lie. 20s? Yeah. It was okay. I there was ups like, and downs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 30s? Yeah, I'm living it. I'm, I'm loving my 30s. Are you? I am, actually. <laughs> sure. So far. <laughs> until mm -hmm. until my body starts, you know, saying no. But right now, so far. I am. I would be such an annoying child if I would be a child right now. Especially if you give me coffee. Mm. Well, you should really shouldn't give kids coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin, you shouldn't give children sugar either. And yet people do it. That is Just true. Say it. I mean, I think there should also be a rule we don't give cat coffee, but, you know. <laughs> Just I live for coffee. I know. What would you, who would you be without coffee? Would you be, you wouldn't even be cat. You would have a whole different name. I know. No. I, can you believe I started drinking coffee in college? I didn't drink coffee before that. I hated Same. coffee. It's. I never liked coffee until my first kid. So I had some of like those those fancy frappuccino things in college. I'm like, oh, okay, these are pretty good. And then I had my first kid. And I drank coffee. I'm like, oh yeah, I need this. Mm. And then the second, I drank more coffee. And then mm -hmm. the third, and then I started maxing out coffee. You yep. know. Yep. I love iced coffee. Ooh, in the summer, it's better than ice cream. Like seriously. True. Are but we it all depends talking about on the black coffee. If there are so many different coffee types. You know what? Let's just not talk about coffee. I want more I coffee. I think either we're talking about coffee or people's <coughs> ages at this point. It seems. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was someone who asked, how long am I at the studio? So, fun fact. Fun Next fact. week, uh, I'm six months at the studio, and you are three years at the studio, which is weird. We're Why? both on the 15th. No, I'm at the 11th. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> no, because I'm like, why did I think about this before? <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Okay. But yeah, that is wild. Yeah. Yeah, six months. Look at that. Yep. A fast six months. Holy shit. I know. <laughs> I know. And I was talking to Crystal. You know Crystal. Crystal is awesome. Crystal Johnson, yes, our, <coughs> our awesome recruiter. Yes, we, yeah. she is fantastic. Exactly. And we were talking, and it's, mm. I feel like every one of the studio that I talk to that hears um, six months, they feel like I've been here longer, which mm -hmm. feels like I'm longer. Yeah. And at the same time, it doesn't. It's really I, weird. I don't know. How time moves in the game development world. I've learned that. And yeah. it's just so cute. Where Thank am, you. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm sorry. Last Nina Cow said, you, are all, you have only been at Ben six months. You seem to be right at home. I feel at home. I feel at home. Happy six month anniversary, early anniversary. Thank you. We just came from here, didn't we? I don't. I don't. <laughs> You're the one playing. I, 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 oh I'm yeah, just, we did. I'm just chilling. We did. With coffee. We did. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to play. Let's say I'm that. Just, I'm just All filling right. the space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to play. Okay, we did this. We fought some bad guys. Where is? Thank you. So, what are we doing for your anniversary? Are we shaving you? Are we... What? <laughs> are no. we putting you in a dino onesie? Why, why is torture related to this? It should be... It's not torture. It's torture. Are we may... Are we... Are we gonna ask someone in the studio to make like a big Kevin painting? Like you sitting in a chair? That, <laughs> that would be awesome, okay. yes. Oh, I found it. I found the steps. All right, we're good now. We are progressing now. Yeah. True. Yeah, why does everything go back to shaving Kevin? I don't like how that's like the president of this. Press, People press, enjoy it. Press, press, press. press. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Ah, it's that. fine. It's fine. It's fine. I could get it out. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, Nate? How are you? Kevin Welcome. has his paint, paint, paintings. Kevin has his pancake. Oh my god, this is going so A painting good. with me and pancakes? Of me or wearing pancakes. Painted, or a painted pancake. Oh. Yeah. But can you eat a paint, painted pancake? Oh, I mean, you probably, I you probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't. 
Well, you can. If it's natural, if you it, can. Oh, yeah, if it's edible, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did hear the Kevin pancakes were pretty delicious, so apparently I make a good pancake. They were. They were. Yeah. They were. Like, my face makes a good pancake. Yeah. I didn't actually make the pancake, but my face made the pancake. They were really thick and squishy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. 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 Thick boys. All I right. was So, just before you started making the pancakes, the night before, I was going to bed and I was thinking, like, we haven't even thought about how we have to ventilate the area. Mm. I was so afraid the whole alarm would go that off. That we were going to cause a fire? No, oh. but because <laughs> if, if you burn a pancake, oh, the right. air goes up. True, true. And it's a whole building. And we can't ventilate it. So well, I was like, great. Everyone will just have to run outside. So I was trying, I was walking up and down the corridor just to make sure that there's... <laughs> Wow. It's been a weird week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Taz Crazy Man, for the one and only that's got my back without shaving me. I appreciate yes. that. Yes. Are we going to make a how-to for making Kevin pancakes? We, I don't see why not. I, I think that's a good use of our time. <laughs> Where <laughs> do I go? Is this the way? Nope, that's just a wall. Nope, just a wall. It would be tragic, and at the same time, you have to practice just in case there is a fire. So <gasps> I found it. Checkpoint. See? It would be great to have a flashlight, just, just throwing that out there. Older games are pretty pretty dark with lighting. Does this help? Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> that flashlight works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, people, this is this type of, I wanted to say podcast. Podcast, yeah. <laughs> this is going so wrong. <laughs> There's no planning for a pancake fire. Well, or is there? Sam says they were pretty good. So, thank you, Sam. People, people seem to enjoy them. They did. It, it was really nice. It had a pretty, pretty good turnout, which was cool. Thanks for following EH Podcasts. Welcome. Oh, you're calling someone's name. I was like, what What are you talking about? To who are you talking? Speaking of lighting, best lighting in a video game. I'm going to just throw out a bias answer. And Days Gone is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. But also, um, who else? I mean, shh. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. And I can't think right now. It's Friday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> usually, by the time we get to the streams, my functioning brain is usually about over. That's why we have coffee. That's why we have coffee. But I only have water, so that's that's not the same. Where's your coffee? Why did you bring me coffee without having... He brought me coffee. Yeah. I just wanted to bring that's you coffee. Cool. Uh, but why didn't you bring coffee for yourself? Hmm. Ghost of Tsushima does stand out. Amazing game. Yes. Yes. That's a good one. Thank you. Have you played Final Fantasy? Have you played Yakuza? Why? I have never played a Yakuza game or a Final Fantasy game. And I apologize to everyone who loves those games. Will you play them? I don't know. <gasps> Maybe one day. Game session at the studio. Yeah, maybe one day. See, I'm I'm very much a mood gamer where I have to. Sam, what don't shame mean? me. All right. What does that mean? Don't shame me. But I'm I'm a mood gamer. Like I have to be like I have ADHD. If no, if you all have not figured that out, <laughs> <laughs> and I will move. From one <laughs> thing to the next and completely obsessed about that thing for a very long time until I move on to the next. So if those games don't land during that obsession, I just don't want to play it. Okay, so how about I bring you Saka, I bring you Sushi, I bring you Ramen. Oh, I love Sushi. Can we do Yakuza then? Ooh, I, I like that. Because I do like preparing, I love pairing drinks with video games. So like when I play Red Dead Redemption... Having a glass of whiskey next to me is the exactly. freaking greatest thing on earth. Exactly. Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey with a glass of wine. You'll thank me later. 
Do you know what wor works best with warm sake? What? A bath. Hmm. A bath? It's, yeah. I think warm bath with Can I play goose? warm sake. And, and, and play video games all at the same yeah. time? That's why you have your portal. That's why I have the PlayStation Portal. Exactly. <laughs> See? Portal for their win. Yep. <laughs> I enjoy this. <laughs> yep. All right. Yes, the glass of whiskey with Red Dead is is fantastic for sure. Ooh, should we do like a whole list of games with a matching drink and food? Where's uh, don't know. I feel like that would that would kind of motivate people to start drinking, which isn't <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah, <laughs> EH podcast, you might want to check your side. It is smooth for us over here. So it might be an internet issue or a Twitch issue because that happens a lot. I mean, whatever works and it's not our issue. <laughs> <laughs> Try a glass of whiskey while watching Ben plays. Hey, I like it. I like it, Evolution. All right, recovered some health. Oh, this is the big boy. Um, I need... No shame him. Sorry, the tall boy. Exactly. This guy. I need this guy right here. Ready? Boom! And another one. Boom! And now I gotta run because he's going to that's try to get running, me. That's not running. That's walking. Uh, well, he, he doesn't run in this game. That's running after a leg day. It's running very slowly. <laughs> okay, there's another one. Grab this ammo here and then make sure they're not going to blow us up. And there we go. See, we have those other soldiers who are distracting him. And I'm pretty sure I just shot that little wall and completely missed the giant machine. Wow. Yeah. Do people with Whoa. epilepsy react to it? What was that? Do people with epilepsy... For this? Yeah. Uh, it's possible. There's like a lot of lighting. Accessibility wasn't really thought about huh. uh, back then. It's really... It's really... I mean, it's always been a thing, but it really started taking off in, like, I'm going to say games around the tw 2018, 2019 is, like, where it really started to make its its mark in the industry. And now it's just increasingly getting better, and the industry is really starting to advance more and more with it because they understand the importance of it. Which is great. Yes, and which is barely needed, and I'm glad Hi, the, the industry is taking the right steps uh, oh, no. for accessibility. That's terrible, that's Nina. That Hope she can door. manage without the, you know, the attacks, the, how do you call it? Yeah, attacks, that's probably. There's a different word for it. Let's head down there. It's fine. You, you know what <laughs> yes. we mean. It's what is up, Zaz 2.0? Welcome back. How are you? Aww. What a jaded little sod. I kind of like you. I feel boom, like boom, boom. I'm standing outside because of the lightning here. It's so warm and it's so well, bright. I think, I think the heater is actually on. And that's what I feel too. And now I've got a beanie on and this thick ass hoodie. <laughs> Which is very, very warm. It doesn't look it, but it's very warm. Uh, evolution. I walked past my local PS headquarters the other day. They have the accessibility trailer playing. Awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. We had snow. Now it's melting. Almost everyone, every mm. everyone, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> it's everyone. Melting everyone. It's melting everyone. It's crazy snow, acidic snow <laughs> we're getting. I mean, it's USA, so you never know. Yeah, but it's true. <laughs> it's becoming death straining outside. <laughs> That's why you trophy. play games, Gretz. I kind of like you. Is a trophy name. Oh, thanks, Aww. Resistance. <laughs> Glad That's the cute. game likes me. I like the game. See, you feel appreciated. I do. Yeah. We're still in the bronze trophies here, so which means I think once we start hitting the silver trophies is when we're about halfway through the game or so. Um, there's what 20, 20 something trophies and resistance retribution you can get with the platinum trophy. It's a good platinum to get. Play the story, do a few combat things, use all your weapons, 
and you you'll you'll get it pretty easily and die once you can, you have to die once that's true yep yeah you did that two weeks ago i did do that two weeks ago not on purpose or you know what was it on purpose just say it was. yeah it was on purpose we got like two days of snow since christmas well wow. are you someone who enjoys winter sports because if you do then it mm. sucks if you prefer it to be dry and maybe a little bit darker then it's great well isn't um daylight savings time this weekend for us is it? i'm pretty sure i don't know i feel like it is which means you have to spring forward so we're gonna lose an hour what yeah why are you bringing bad news oh i'm sorry do, do they do, they have that over there right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's a new call. So. Oh, you know, I don't know. America's weird. <laughs> <laughs> True, but <laughs> stop moving. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's, it's so yeah, like I'm pretty sure it's this weekend. But it's not like you're losing an hour. You're just sleeping shorter. Yeah. But your days are longer. Yes, but your days are longer, which is greatly needed here because. The sun gets behind those mountains at like five o'clock, or no, four thirty in the winter time, and then there goes all daylight. And it's Dude, wild. Move to Holland. Really, it's even worse. It the sun gets up at like tenish a.m. and it goes down around three p.m. What? So That's you start crazy. your day in the dark and you go back home in the dark. So you're kind of used to it then. Th this is this is sunny. The whole winter is sunny. Hmm. See? The clouds don't change for Lose an hour, days. right. <laughs> Sam already has terrible <laughs> sleep. <laughs> There's no snow in Egypt. Yeah. But you do have... Your freaking pyramids. Desert. Your pyramids. I really want to see one day. And camels? Camels, yeah. Camels. Alaska and... Uh, uh, Iceland, I think, also. Like everything on the upper side of the earth. All the cold places, yeah. What? All the cold, dark places. Canada, sure, we'll lump them into it too. I don't think that's right, but I'm, we're gonna do it it's anyway. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> I need to get this. Ooh! Oh, I like cold weather too, but only if you can stay inside with like a blanket. Hot cocoa and yeah. games or yes, a movie. Yes. Have you played oh. Assassin's Creed Origins, Kevin? Hell yes. Have you platinum? No, but I'm Ooh. close. That's not the same. I know. There That's was a couple. Same. There was a couple trophies I just could not, uh, or I gave up. I don't know. One or two. But I need to go back to it because Assassin's Creed Origins is actually the game that made me really fall in love with the, the Assassin's Creed franchise. Um, I finished the third one, which was my very first Assassin's Creed, but Origins, like, I'm like, oh, I get it. And then I started going backwards and replaying them all from the beginning. Um, so yes, Origins is a huge yes for me. Oh, uh, Shank, I haven't seen one either. I want to. Egypt is one ah. of the places where I still, like, it's on the top of my list. So maybe, maybe. If I see one, I will send you a video. I'm, I'm, I, I kind of don't anticipate on seeing one See what? here, a camel. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you would say yes. <laughs> I have seen a llama that, while hiking. You can see llamas here everywhere. Somebody was walking a llama, Kat. Still. Is that normal for you? Yes. I've never seen someone walk a llama, like a dog. Is it a llama or was it an alpaca? Because around here you have alpacas and they are different because a llama will spit on you yeah. and an alpaca won't or, I, or the other way around. I'm, I think sure I'm pretty right. sure it was a llama. It was, it was pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. But alpacas are big too. Eh. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think as big as llamas. I don't know. I'm not an alpaca Someone, slay llama someone fact checked us of <laughs> these um, llamas and uh, what was the other thing? Alpacas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They are both, I know they are both fluffy, they both look similar, the one can spit in your face, the other won't. I have fed alpacas here in Oregon. 
Do you know there's an alpaca farm? Yes. Have you been to it? Not yet. Oh, okay. I have a mini alpaca that I bought. A the real alpaca? No. Oh. I will. <laughs> well, maybe if my landlady doesn't mind. I mean, she shouldn't, really. She said I can have a small to medium-sized dog. Or no, a small to medium-sized pet. There which, you go. I mean, if you buy the alpaca small, maybe that's It's possible. Idea. I think it's possible. I, I, I wouldn't mind. Get a baby alpaca. That's and then once they grow up, you're like, oh... They said it was going to be a it's mini a alpaca <laughs> and never knew it was going to grow. Wow. And then it would be on that landlady be like, well, it's, you know, it shows what type of person she is. Either she's going to kick the llama out that was raised with you from birth <laughs> or kick you out. And both of those are definitely things landlords would do. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if I want to buy the alpaca anymore. You Wait. should definitely still buy the alpaca. I think it would be totally worth the risk. Wait, second question. Yeah. Alpaca wool. Uh-huh. Do you shave the alpaca yes. to get the wool? Yes. You do not kill it. <laughs> 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 it's dark, cat. No, you, sh you just shave it. They grow the hair back. It's like us. If, if people wanted Kevin hair... I could just shave it like every couple months. Do I hear you saying you will shave your head? No, that's not what I'm saying. You heard you no. heard him. That's that's basically a yes, Kevin. That's basically a It yes. is is not nowhere near a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the amazing treat of resistance retribution for console, as it was my first time in this game. <laughs> Didn't have a PSP back in 2010. This isn't Minecraft with no my levels for wool. <laughs> Kevin is not selling my hair. Disclaimer, this is not this is not true. <laughs> See? Wow. Kevin is nice. shaving his head. See? Yeah, jeez. Don't do with Kevin. Don't do what? The by the alpaca? The whack alpaca? Or don't shave his head? So I'm pretty sure don't shave my head is what. <laughs> no, Shank that's is what going you for. assume people would want to say. But that's not what they are saying, Kevin. They are saying, Kevin, shave your head. See, don't do it, it, Kevin. Don't I see, shave Kevin, his shave your, your head. Just don't do it, Kevin. I see, do it. We're not maybe, Nike. Uh, maybe, here, right? maybe Shay is saying, don't do it, Kevin. As in, don't speak against cats. Shave your head. <laughs> it's not what I'm reading. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just seeing what I want to see. <laughs> EH Podcast, do you have the platinum for this yet? Since you were, since you've been playing it on, on PS4 or PS5, one, two. Which you can actually get two platinums if you go and grab the platinum on PS4 and then grab it on PS5. I was not that dedicated yet. Maybe one day. I don't think you want me to shave his head because we were laughing so much just before the stream started. If that would happen, when I would be shaving you, <laughs> you would lose all the facial hair. <laughs> That would be scary. Okay. Both. Mm. Nice. That's really nice. That's dedication. So, at the beginning of the stream, I saw a very important question. Why aren't we having a pizza during the stream? That is an important question, actually. I don't know. Because I am very hungry. And we are grabbing food after this. Well, to be honest, people are grabbing food for Tec us. Yeah, technically, so. people are grabbing it for us. Which? We're not forcing them, by the way. Aren't we? No, but at <laughs> the same not. time, <laughs> see, that's how lovely the whole team is. Mm -hmm. They are getting us food, yep. and they are staying with us at the studio to enjoy the food. Yep, we're going to hang out. Even though they are free, free to go, free enjoy to the go. freedom. Yep, yep. Everyone wins. The place should sponsor our food. But at the same time, we eat a lot of food. Pizza sounds good. It does, but we're actually getting a place. It's um, it's a... Oh! I hate these things. It's a... um, It's called Toasties. It's a... Uh, vegan place. Vegan place. Amazing And they vegan make place. these crunch wraps. Like, you know, if you ever had a Taco Bell crunch wrap, but this is actually real food. <laughs> and it's freaking delicious. And that's what I'm having. What are you having? Uh, what so did you order? <laughs> I didn't order. I asked you for ordered. a healthy bowl. Demanded. So it's uh, okay. like rice, uh, jalapeno, 
yep. salsa, yep. All of it. vegetables yeah. with uh, smoky tepe. Ooh. Yeah. Have you ever had the crunch wrap? Uh, not sure. You gotta get the crunch wrap. Crystal's the one, Crystal, Carl, and Dustin's the one who got me onto the crunch wrap. It's so Why are you seeing this now? Well, I didn't. Sorry. I mean, can't you change your order? I don't know. <laughs> Crystal, are you here? Oh, Crystal's getting yours too? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you said <laughs> You didn't hear this. Before stream, for some reason, it was super top secret who was getting her food. We do. Even though it's the same person. Is it though? Yes! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh, so I just got a message, like a reminder on my watch, and I thought it was Crystal saying, Hey, <laughs> wanna change your order? <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be some excellent service if that I was do, the case. I, I, <laughs> I mean Crystal is awesome, so it could be her. She, just saying. She, she does have a great yeah. recruiting service as well. So I, I'm sure it would she's apply at, to food service. She's great at everything. She like is. seriously, it's very Crystal. It's very hard to be your friend because you you don't have anything you suck at. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we do have a nice team. And I'm pretty sure Crystal was gonna be. She's gonna be returning on stream very soon. Yes. So that'll be fun. It will be for us. It will also be for me. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> Positive. <laughs> All right, we're going through these little shoop things. That's what I'm calling them. So I shared a um, a GIF of this part mm -hmm. on social media mm -hmm. a few weeks back because mm -hmm. you know resistance retribution literally launched the day before, and people started throwing acquisitions out. And it was literally just this cutscene from Resistance Retribution. So I just wanted to clear that up for anyone who was, for some reason, confused. Feels like shaming, Kevin. Feels like shaming. A little bit. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Social media. Oh, this is, uh, okay, I remember the spot. So there's going to be a big, giant robot that comes up after this. You, that is correct, Sam. I don't want to say that again. I, uh, it's on record for me saying How that. How do you say that? Try it. <laughs> no. no. I said it during our Baldur's Gate 3 stream, and did people clip it out? Of course they did. But I, you have to say it now. Sam, do I say it? Do I? She, cat really is, right? <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Thank you for recognizing that. So, for Baldur's Gate 3, it's literally what it's called, a sphincter. That's what it's called. Okay. Okay? Okay. So, that's what it's called. So, that, so when I was open, it looks like those portal things. So, when I went up to it, I said, open thy sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. And that's here we are. I mean, and now uh, clipped fine. again. See? See what you <laughs> it's did? It's fine. They know. <laughs> it's not children appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> These streams are usually rated M. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're playing like non rated M game. Which apparently all of our games are rated M. And I'm just saying, I'm not baiting him. To be honest, English isn't one of my first languages. And there are things I cannot pronounce, so... We are so mature here. Yeah. No. Wrong industry. <laughs> <laughs> New notification sound. Yeah, do it. That's great, though. I mean, I think you speak very well for someone who's never lived in the United States, though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Just don't ask me to, like, pronounce all the states. All the states? Yeah. Oh. Like, which ones can you not pronounce? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> say South Dakota. No. Is that one of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, was I, what was I doing? Oh, I got to go over here. <laughs> See, I was all distracted. It's fine. It's fine. Montana. I can say Montana. Okay. Wisconsin. I'm not... <laughs> That's one of them. No. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can pronounce Mississippi. 
How long have you guys lived in Oregon? How long have you lived in Oregon? Me? Uh, two and a half years. Huh. Because I started, I started at Ben Studio Remote in Virginia for the first about six months until I moved out here. That's amazing. So, how about you? Uh, I think eight. No, almost a year. So almost a year now. First of April. Oh my God. May. Next. I'm not sure. April or May. So about a year though. Yeah. That's crazy. It is. And I survived my first winter. I'm very proud of myself. You did. Look at you go. And th we did hikes in the winter too. I know. Yeah. Without a winter jacket. Without a winter jacket. See, that's how you know you're Oregon already. You know. But to be honest, you're it getting wasn't Crocs. Soon. <laughs> Crocs are coming soon. Watch. No. Yeah, they are. No. Yeah, they are. No. Watch. I'm going back to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you come in one day with Crocs on. It's gonna be glorious. Never going to happen. Never. Crocs for some reason it's an Oregon thing. I always told ever I always told my wife I would never buy Crocs. Now I have two pairs. No, three pairs. That's too much. I have a yard. I have a around the house, around the yard pair, and then I have a winter pair because they have little woolies in them, and then I have just a regular, regular old black Why? Crocs. Why? They're comfy, and you know when I'm running my kids to school every day or running them to dance or art, how easy it is just like, whoop, foot goes in, smooth as butter. It's like my foot. Is butter, and I put it on a frying pan. That's how the, smooth it is. There's, there's so much wrong with this sentence. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Ooh, I forgot I have the auger. Yep, and the Subaru. So if you all don't know, this is called the auger. This thing, you can have a shield and shoot at the same time because it'll go through the shield. I just died. <laughs> So I was not. A wow, your health is low. Like really low. Yeah, low. I, I'm well aware. It's yeah. he's gonna explode. Oh crap! So yeah. yeah, this thing can shoot through walls. So as see as he's lit up yellow. So when you're actually in cover and Chimera are behind a wall, you can stand behind that wall and shoot through it. That's how awesome this weapon is. Huh. It's this one and the rail gun or the chain gun are my two favorite weapons in Resistance Retribution. Ethan wears Crocs in all weather. See? Ethan's awesome. Ethan gets it. And a Subaru. You're damn right, Dr. Pepper. I got a Subaru. Exactly. See? <laughs> see? SAS, SAS 2.0 gets the point. You should only see the doctors in Crocs. You should. He sees doctors in Ireland. In Maybe I am a doctor. Dr. Kevin. I'm a doctor at community management. <laughs> 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 oh, someone clipped that one. That was a good one. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Eric Jensen, sir, good sir, <laughs> sir, you have no room to talk. Thank you for the mic drop. You have no room to talk because you wear flip flops all the time, sir. That's right. Flip flops or Crocs? None of the both. <laughs> okay. See, I'll take that answer. So, ha. <laughs> uh, Eric Jensen redeemed. Kevin must say something nice to Cat. Cat. Approaching a large cave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is actually really hard to do it on a spot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, you know, you had to do it last week and it took True. you a while. So True. I'm just going to throw that one out there. You know? so I can see you. Um, oh, thanks, Ethan. <laughs> wow. Thre oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Ethan, we get it. We get it. You're welcome. Hey, that's what you get, Eric. Wow. Oh, my that's God. One, lot. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the dad flops. Just Nine. Just, just stop with counting. It only motivates them to do it more often. <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. Cat, you are awesome. Cat, you are intelligent. Cat, you are super creative. Cat, you are <laughs> wait. dedicated. Wait, wait, wait. A hard worker. That's just I just wrapped wait. that into one. Okay. Is the creative because I put the flowers in the blender? What? Haven't you seen my flower? Oh, they are in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. Now I, now I see. 
<laughs> sorry. Yeah. But yeah, that. <laughs> sure. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, are they still going? No, okay. thank God not. I think so too. Why don't you sing a song? That's that's not part of the rewards. All right. So. It will be next week. I will revoke your access. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> can you? No. I will change the no, password. No, because the Twitch account is connected to the email, and I have access to email. I <laughs> gave, gave you too much. <laughs> 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 I will change the password. You will definitely. And just saying, it are my people. <laughs> what? My lovely people. What? It are are. Don't take it away from me, okay? Those are pleasant, friendly. Gracious people, all right. We they are small, but they are mighty. They aren't small, yeah. They are all knowing magicians, they are all knowing magicians. It's kind of crazy. They keep us all going, yes. All right, ammo, press button. Um, <laughs> Kathy, go after the stream or choir door extension. <laughs> So that's the great thing that's about great. my previous work. Everything mm. I hear just I forget it after like ten minutes. Mm. <laughs> just because in my previous work I it was very important to not take the information with you. So I just learned to, you know, recognize people's faces but nothing else. So that stays kinda. Of. See, I was just about to say I have like terrible comprehension. Like reading a book. I can read an entire book. You ask me what the summary is, <laughs> no freaking idea what but to But isn't you. that the ADHD? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it probably plays a good factor into it. And that's why you're great at social media. Right? Because it's like, a, yeah. you just, you see it and you forget it. Exactly. <laughs> it's perfect. Exactly. It was meant to be. You see, you see it, everyone gets hyped for three seconds and it's gone. Exactly. Does that mean you're, you're great at TikTok? You just don't know it yet? Hmm. I just avoid it. The TikTok or scrolling through TikTok? Both. <laughs> 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 I've got a degree in IT and did nothing. Hey, Evolution Pixel, don't feel bad. I have a degree in, I have a bachelor's degree in computer network and security. Not exactly doing that. But it did help, uh, help my resume getting, getting into the studio, I'm not going to lie. Because I had zero gaming industry experience. So having that bachelor's degree in the tech industry helped so how did that it, it help may, your passwords it may also help you as well one day how did that help your passwords though there's a lot of passwords right okay <laughs> <laughs> tiktoks yeah they are rabbit holes you will you will be mm -hmm. scrolling for a while um but you know shameless plug plug if you're not following ben studio tiktok you should we are going to stream somewhere in may each podcast virtual fist bump. Bam, bam. To be honest, is the second one you just ignore the first one? I did all of them. No. And the explosion. Got to do the cool explosion. It's the dad way. You don't know it that way. How did you get a job at Ben Studios? Who are you talking to? To myself. <laughs> How did you get a job at Ben Studios? Um, J Page. Hello. Welcome back. I was just very obnoxious to the people at the studio. And then finally Crystal was like, hey, <laughs> I know someone. Well, I guess I could say the same thing. I was very obnoxious on, the, on social media. And then See? they're like, hey, we should probably get this guy on. Exactly. Yep. That's how it works. No. Mm. No. What? Uh, it was a cool opportunity for Kat uh, that, and recruiter Crystal. Yeah. She's awesome. Uh, reached out and um, started talking about kind of the opportunity, what we could do here at the studio, and then jumped on a call, me, Crystal, and Kat at the time. And um, Kat answered all the questions good, obviously. She's here. But no, after as soon as I was done the, the interview, I did a one on one with Crystal immediately afterwards, and I'm like, yes. That was it. Like immediately. Okay. Wow. Immediately. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now you know. 
I just received a message from Crystal after we talked where she mentioned how do you think it went? I was like, good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was stressful. It was stressful. Oh, didn't your uh, didn't didn't the camera like freeze on you at one point too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was so I That's I was great. staying at an Airbnb. Was it an Airbnb? Yeah. And they oh, really? had yeah. Oh. And they had just the Wi-Fi, and it wasn't great. Oh yeah. It yeah. wasn't great. Yeah. Why is he green? But it all worked she? out. It? Yeah. 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 Oh, I hate these We are new things. at TikTok. So give us a second. I mean, TikTok is hard. I mean, what? Okay, so we... Who asked about that? Someone asked about that? Uh, no. Ethan oh. mentioned that he has more followers. <laughs> Ethan, do you really? Do we follow you? I don't think so. I think we only follow like PlayStation and Gorilla. Yeah, I think so. Too. Yeah, we started our TikTok. What? Uh, when we did our logo reveal. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. You know what? I'm just gonna rewind this whole thing. But yeah, we started it during our logo reveal. So it's been about year and a half or so. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, um, starting a platform uh, during a time where, obviously, we're not saying much, can be can be challenging Swim to be away. complete. Why are you getting hit? It's these freaking mermaid thingies. They're... I feel like I forget what I did last time to bypass them. Wait, can you swim? I swim... Uh, I'm literally doing that right now. No, I mean, <laughs> in real life. In real life, barely. Seriously? Yeah. It. How? Um, so when I was a kid, I had like a, a drowning incident, but I'm going to make that very dramatic. Like drowning, drowning, or more like you were in the water and then you were like... <gasps> more like I was a kid and I fell off this... I, like, I don't know how old I was. But I was a, a, a little kid, mm -hmm. and I fell off the side of the pool, and I was just, like, down there blah, 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 for a while. Mm -hmm. And then I think and then my mom just kind of reached her hand in and grabbed me. And then ever since that day, I've been scarred. Huh. But, yeah, then I did figure it out. Just very basic, though. So, like, if I ever fell in a lake, I would semi-confident I could swim a little bit. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I don't have complete faith in myself. Um, that I may not die if we're <laughs> in a lake or an ocean. I fall oh, wow. over a boat. Okay. Yeah. So while water rafting is on, hold L1, alt fire on that gun is good for these. Thank you. Uh, I will try that. I have to take these two out, right? Like I can't. I feel like I try to. Um, I just w bypassed the entire thing last time, but I don't think that's the case now. Can you do that? Because everything is closed. Yeah, that's why I'm starting to wonder. Maybe I can't. Oh, I see. I have to hold. Okay. Okay, I get it. Well, oh, I, I killed it. Did I? It's dead. Sure. Are they both dead? I just see one. Oh, where'd the other one go? Maybe run away? Swim away? Swim away? That's good. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean... Would you be prepared to try water sports? Crap. Water sports? Oh, hell no. Why not? If it, and if you get, like, the blow, blow up ja jacket, <laughs> like the orange <laughs> life vest, like the children get. Well, what kind of water sports are we talking? And thank you very much. Um, who was that? Uh, Trollberg. Thank you for those. Uh, for that, oh. for that tip there. Okay, maybe I can just swim through here. Nope. No. Damn it. Where am I supposed to go? Mm, I don't think there. Everything is closed there. I thought maybe, maybe the like upper one. That's the one I just tried. That yep. one. I thought maybe I could like come up to this and like the interact button mm. comes up, but it is not. Is it this one? No. Maybe. I'm gonna die maybe again. Try. Rewind. Be kind. That's right. Be kind, rewind. Blockbuster mm. slogan, slogan right there. Have you been to Blockbuster yet? No. 
You need to go to Blockbuster. It's the last one on Earth. The very last one. Ever. Ever. Okay. Yeah. We're going to take you to Blockbuster ASAP. Okay, Trollberg, where are you at? Sometimes take multiple. Uh, where are we at here? Yeah, it's the last one. Blockbuster, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have the very last one. It's in Bend. Uh, I've, I've been to it a few times now. Like, it's actually really cool doing, like, a family movie night there. Um, where j me and the family go, we grab some candy, we rent a movie, and it's fantastic. I like the music. I don't know where to go. Why am I missing this? I've done this before. Maybe you just have to rewind even further? Well, I, I defeated the thingies, so that's where I'm rewinding it to. Can you rewind oh my God. further than that? Oh, yeah, okay. It's Friday. See? this is Oh, no! <laughs> Back up! Don't go under, James! There we go. It just had to go up the entire time. Wow. Ah. Oregon is great. You should visit us. Oregon is fantastic. It's the favorite, my most favorite state I've lived in, and I've lived in. You was there before? <laughs> five different states. Oh. Six, including Oregon. I in guess. which states have you lived in? Um, New Jersey, uh, Virginia, uh, Delaware, uh, uh, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, and Oregon by far takes the cake. Yeah, they, well, so, oh, so they made a comedy, a sitcom for Blockbuster, but it wasn't held in Bend, and huh. I immediately said no. Because how are you gonna make a sitcom about Blockbuster but not be set, but not have the setting in Bend? At the same time, maybe that's the reason why they said no. Maybe, but no, seriously, the Blockbuster is so cool. You can go in. There's Blockbuster merchandise, and. Just is it good movies everywhere. Yeah, it's like blockbuster stuff. Oh. It has like Bend, Oregon on it. Hmm. Um, I actually That's found cool. a uh, a Red Dead Redemption Two. Ethan, I know you like this. A Red Dead Redemption Two, like um, kind of like a license plate, but it's just like the the cover with Arthur Morgan on it on there. That's very cool. And it's very hard to find Red Dead merchandise, so I was super happy I found something. Okay, where I have to go through this. Well, next. Ethan. If you will visit us, or Oregon, in two or three years, don't forget to visit Bent. Oh, here we go. So if you're at this spot, just come in here, and there's a little collectible right there. So this doesn't go all the way through, uh, but there's a collectible right there that I actually missed on my first playthrough. So now I have to go back into the water. I just hope those little mermaid thingies don't show up. Okay, now I have to go. Oh, they are. I can bypass this one though, I believe. Just keep swimming. Important question. Yeah. When Ethan visits us, uh -huh. are we doing a bent hike? Yep. See? Now you have now you have to visit us. See? And you do have a hike. To. Yeah. Not sure if you are a hike person, but if you visit Ben, you you have to be a hike person. We will make you a hike person. Age podcast. Yeah, I think I um the last boss is a little tricky for sure, uh, especially with those like enhanced drones. Um, those ones they suck because they hit very hard. Where am I going? This looks amazing. Oh yeah, the aesthetic of Resistance of this game is so cool because this is the first time Ben Studio went from uh, went from Siphon Filter to a whole different IP. So, because Ben was stuck with Siphon, not stuck, but like made seven Siphon Filter games before transitioning to something different. Mm. So now you go from this espionage stealth game, pretty grounded to sci-fi with aliens and this kind of cool aesthetic to it. Um, so it's kind of a pretty big departure. And then you go back to Uncharted, Uncharted Golden Abyss, which of course, pretty grounded, um, but adventure type game. And then you go to Days Gone, which kind of throws in some like some of that stealth from Siphon Filter, 
some of the sci-fi with like the mm. freakers and stuff. So I felt like Days Gone was a pr pretty good culmination of all the games that Ben has done in the past. Um, Plus the extra new idea sprinkles on top of it. Yeah, exactly. And you know, just gonna get better. And That's good studio. It only gets better. It only gets better. Damn straight. <laughs> Boom! There's nice. one down. I think there's another. Oh, yeah, there they are. There are two more. Three more. See how that the time slows down a little bit mm -hmm. when you... I love that. See? Boom! Another headshot. I no. love... Oh! Oh, crap. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Run! Oh, oh, oh. I'm panicking! <laughs> I'm panicking! It's we got it. Wasn't there another one? Oh, no, there's drones now. I love these freaking things. Just kidding, I, hate, I completely hate them. Alien bugs are the worst. I'm gonna say that. They s completely suck. Drones are right behind them. Anything that flies. Let's just stop having flying enemies in video games. That'd be great. Though, I do have to say... I think it's worse if they are flying and you only have like a crossbow, no, uh, a normal bow, like an archery bow type of thing. Yeah. That's even worse. Yeah, it is. Um, oh yeah. So if you if you see in chat now from Ben Studio, which is obviously neither me or Cat. Um, it isn't. It's not. You're not or are we or are we super skilled? You know. Yeah. Uh, we just, last, yeah. this week, wow, these weeks are, um, we released a Resistance Retribution blog post on bensudio.com, uh, and I was able to kind of ask some questions to our veteran, I just threw a random grenade, our, to our veteran uh, developers that actually worked on Resistance Retribution, and they kind of just share their fond memories of the game, and of their experiences, and kind of what they did on the game. Um, really cool read. I think we had five developers on that, and there's actually even more developers that worked on Resistance that wasn't, you know, part of that. But um, yeah, check it out if you haven't. It was fun. Definitely. And it was fun to see how people changed over the years. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, we have, uh, there's a picture of Philip in there showing off his Resistance Retribution tattoo because he worked on it and he loved the game so much. Uh, I guess kind of like me with uh, Days Gone, I have a Days Gone tattoo. And uh, Philip looks completely different. He has no beard. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how what to make of it with him without a beard. I know. You know? He's like a different person. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Okay. Yeah, flying enemies are the worst. Like, um, criers in Days Gone, hate them. Can't stand them. Yes, a lot of people have video game tattoos. Yes, we do. Pretty much the coolest people is what I've heard. I feel like you're kind of biased. No, no, not at all. <laughs> so, it, it's funny, because... And this is kind of like a lot of people. I'm trying to get this health before I die. Ah, blah blah blah. Blue, blue, blue. Run! Walk! I made it. Walk. Yeah, walk really fast, James. Oh wait, you know what? I think I have grenade. So it's funny. I kind of go through it. I went through a tattoo journey, as what most people apparently seem to do with uh, once they get a couple tattoos is you begin with like. All right, I'm only going to get tattoos that, like, absolutely mean something. Mm. They, you know, this is going to be on my body forever. Um, it's got to be very important. It's going to be mm. family. It's going to be something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually you just kind of keep – the more tattoos you get, the more, like, sure. Like, oh, wow. Why not, you know? And it's funny because, like, I heard this from like, other, from, like, other tattoo artists as well. Is like when people come in and you can tell the people who have – just like one or two or don't have any to the people have that, that have like 10 plus because it gets to the point where it's like they just want art on their body and they want something to whether it express their interest or their hobbies or things like that and it's just funny how just like I was listening to the conversation I'm like huh 
That is literally me. Because it got to the point where, like, my latest one, the Diablo one, I gave, like, pretty much creative freedom to my tattoo artist there. Yeah. I gave him kind of what I wanted. Uh, but I'm like, hey, man, do what you do. Do what you do best, and, and we'll go from there. And, uh, yeah, there was, like, a tweak here and there that I gave him. But other than that, he nailed it. Yeah, I could never do that. I'm like, it just got to the point, I'm like, all right, I'm in my 30s, eventually going to die. So Wow. <laughs> might as well just, you know, do it now, you know. It's getting dark. Con think... Keenan, speaking facts right now. Yep. So I got, so for video game related stuff, I have Batman Arkham, The Witcher, Red Dead Redemption. You have The Witcher? Yeah. Why don't I know that? I don't know. Yeah, it's at the top. Maybe that's why. You just never see it. Red Dead Redemption 2, Days Gone, and Diablo. <laughs> and then if you want to throw a uh, another nerd thing in there, I have Star Wars. But yeah, I'm not surprised by that. But the Star <laughs> Wars is actually connected to a, a family trip that we went on last year. Uh, we went to Disneyland for the very first time. And I actually went incognito from social media so i actually never ever posted a single picture from disneyland huh. because i just turned off my phone for an entire week and it was freaking fantastic did you Highly forget about us the social media and stuff no just the phone yeah i mean i kept it at i kept it at our our hotel room i just i just didn't want it like i just wanted a whole entire week of just like i don't want to look at it um so yeah i actually never shared it but so during that experience, that was my first time my kids ever saw Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And we did like all the really cool experiences. And then me and my wife built light lightsabers at the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And those are the lightsabers on our arm. She's got one, I got one. It's the same matching tattoo. And it's the lightsabers that we built at Disney. So mm -hmm. it's Star Wars, but also every time I look at it, it just reminds me of like our mm -hmm. Disney trip. And mm -hmm. it was magical. Mm -hmm. Another question. Is Diablo 4 tattoo about the platinum, Kevin? Not necessarily about the platinum. More about, like, there are some games that I've put in hours into and I fell in love with. And Diablo is one of those games. And I had a lot, like, a lot of really awesome gaming moments that I never had with other games. And that pretty much includes, like, with my friends, uh, Dustin, Carl, and uh, Crystal, where we've had multiple you know, like Diablo meetups and, and playthroughs. And, uh, you know, we kind of, when I got the Platinum in Diablo 4, we were actually in Ben Studio in the theater uh, on a, f what, Friday night. We know we, Kevin. <laughs> we were playing, and we and we got it like 2 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and they were all cheering me on and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it was, it's like a culmination of a lot of things. Hmm. Plus, I really love the lore of Diablo, and I like the... Good, good versus evil thing. I just like li like that as a concept in life, mm -hmm. um, and kind of having that middle ground and doing what's what's right. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of things, but platinum. Yeah, you can say that plays part in it because I did platinum Diablo four. If you didn't know, how did I not see this happen? Yeah. And if you didn't hear that correctly, <laughs> I did platinum Diablo four. Was Tucker filming in the whole process? Uh, he filmed when I went absolutely crazy getting the platinum, yes. Uh, not the whole thing, but <laughs> it was funny. He just kind of joined us in the theater. He wasn't really playing. He doesn't play Diablo. But he just came in. Uh, it was like, I don't know, probably around midnight or so. And he was just chilling with us. We were having pizza, and, and, and he was watching it. And I guess we were very entertaining because so, he stuck around. And it was it was just it was really cool. I mean, a, I mean, it's a good company. That's why you do it, right? Yeah, right. I think that's that's what makes the multiplayer games is when you can share it with your friends. True. It creates a whole different level of experience of of a gaming experience for you. Um, that I love single player games, but you don't necessarily get those uh, because you're not really sharing it with your friends. You're sharing it by yourself, which are good too sometimes. Yeah. You it's good to have time for yourself. Yeah, so it's it's kind of the best of both worlds when you can enjoy them both. And uh, I used to be single player only for a very long time. Uh, past couple years, I've really started going into more multiplayer type games, and I'm really happy I did because I mean they have provided some of my favorite gaming moments that I've ever had. I love multiplayer. I mean, 
you can connect with people, you make friends where you wouldn't expect them to be, yep. which is great. Die, I mean, Chimera! There are some cons to it too, like people trolling and stuff like that. But I mean, if you're used to social media, yeah, you just learn to ignore those people. What is up, your C137? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Luck that got me way more into multiplayer games. I get that. I get that. And it's a good kind of connection because you're you can still stay at home and connect with people, like, not and not having to go outside. Mhm. Mm yep. Helldivers 2 recently has been really great within my friend group. Oh yeah. Just sitting back and having a laugh. True. Yeah, I've been going to. I so I go to a, a rock, a rock climbing gym every every uh, every weekend and. One of the owners there, he's been playing Helldivers too, and he just tells me how much him and his friends have been like enjoying it and stuff. Because um, it, it, it's always nice finding people out in the world that love video games. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey man, you ever play Days Gone? He's like, no, I've been really meaning to get to it. You want to code, man? <laughs> so, yeah, he's playing Days Gone now. I, I, that's you know, I, I'm spreading the good news, the gospel, throughout Bend. You know, that's, that's my mission in life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. One of that, my many missions. That sounds amazing and creepy at the same time. <laughs> That's what I go for. Wow. Amazing and creepy. <laughs> 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 oh, and all, have you seen our, um, because today is International Women's Day, and we have uh, all kinds of uh, Women's History Month things planned this this month, including internal activities that you're not really going to see because it's just more like studio stuff. Maybe a TikTok or something. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, our live streams coming up. So if you look on our social channels, we <laughs> we are uh, sporting a brand new look once again. It's got a very hot pink with black, and I freaking love it. Hot. It is hot pink. <laughs> it's wow. great. I love it so much. Once again, shout out Happy to Happy International Women Day. Uh, Shay Casey, our our branding guy, that really just makes every logo treatment super clean and crispy. True. I feel like if we would have a T-shirt in that hot pink, you would wear it. I definitely would. <laughs> that I would be your would. next hiking shirt. Yep. I, I, that's right, because my that neon yellow one. That's yep. my hiking shirt. Because I know everyone can see me. I'll never lose people. True. That's that's the we goal. We could do like where's Waldo only with Kevin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, you see those floating things? Uh -huh. So they're the same thing as the boilers that run and you have to shoot their head. But these are, they're they're like flying, and they're a little bit harder because they have like a shield around them. Ooh, grenade. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh. I could go for a piece of candy. Is it chocolate? I would go for chocolate. I'm very excited for that crunch wrap. What time we got? It's six twenty-seven. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize. Well, this. to be honest, we wanted to do a Kevin Diablo Four intervention, but you know, sometimes you just have to choose your battles. We knew it was a lost battle. It, it, it would be. Why do you want to take my fun away? Gabe Logan, don't take my fun away in life. Wow. Yeah. That <laughs> dark, pretty fat. Yeah. What was the um, evolution said something about it? Ben Studio T-shirt. What do you say? Uh, I was wearing the Ben Studio T-shirt the other day. Some random person stopped me talking about Days Gone and about the secret ending. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For the record, for the record, it is not a secret ending. I know it's always listed as that online. It's just, I would go more of like a, a post credits scene. So, you know, post credits now, they're not really um, uh, secret anymore because everyone expects it, right? So it was, was kind of the same thing here. His head just, is on fire. Just in a game format where it's like, okay, credits have rolled, but it's an open world game. So keep playing, because yeah. you still got more stuff to do. You still got ambush. But then, if you if you keep playing, you're gonna get awarded with uh, 
with kind of that post story mission. Um, but like, I don't get mad for the people saying it's secret. Like I get it, I because a lot of people will just play the story and then mm. stop mm -hmm. once the credits roll. Um, so I, I I do get that point too. And to be honest, people see things everywhere if they want them. Trophy. Credits. Soft spot. Two. I think we're just about to end this mission too, which is gonna be perfect timing. Oh, there's something behind me. Crap. Am I gonna be able to do this? Just ignore it. Just pretend it's not there. I think I am. I think I am pretending it's not there. Last time I did this. Oh crap, I, I hit the wrong. Mm. No! No! Get your health! Where's health? Exactly. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist. That's how I handle every horror game and horror movie. If I don't see it, and pre or at least pretend I don't see it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm actually a, I'm a pretty big chicken when it comes to some horror games. I have a love-hate relationship with R Resident Evil. Yeah. So... I, I would never be able to play Resident Evil oh. in VR. I feel like I would just be too scared of it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm... Never. <laughs> it's just never gonna happen. The same time no! Like I was just... Okay. I feel like that would be a very good thing to do during the extra life, though. Yeah, we should definitely um, maybe do like a one of those like... What?! Bullcrap! Oh, there is no health around here at all. Which... It's both. It's the monsters and Kevin's stomach. Yes, probably. I do feel my stomach growing. I do feel like if we are going to play Resident Evil in uh, VR, then I have to schedule a hairdresser's appointment the next day. Just because of my gray hair. <laughs> uh. You can do it. You can do it. But I'm just like, I, I'm one hit. Wow. Gosh darn it! I might have to back up a little bit when I was trying to. Yeah, this part. Bye, Ethan. Thank you for visiting us. See you, Ethan. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a great evening. No, I don't want to do this. Okay, we're we're gonna do this, I guess. Oh. I didn't want to. Kevin, do this. you could always slow down time with. That is true, and I always, and I just talked about that not too long ago, and I forgot about it already. But hey, look, don't even have to face them. I did it that time. Nice. <laughs> this will be a good stopping point too, because I am hungry. Yeah, we have people waiting for us. Oh Feed yeah, we do. Us. Feed us. And trophy. Ah, cutscene first. Grayson had to endure crushing pressure. I know you will judge me for this, but I can go for another coffee. For I don't know how you drink coffee this late. Like, 4 o'clock is like my max. Kevin, you have seen me on my lowest and on my highest. I have. <laughs> hey, Bubs is back. Hi, Bubs. Hi, Bubs. We're just finishing up. We just yes. finished that mission there. Waiting for the trophy to pop. And there it is. Congrats. I'm having fish tonight. Well, that's not true. But it is not. I'm having a crunch wrap tonight. Friends, thank you so much for joining us once again. It was great being back after the week off last week. Uh, we, we're, do, we're making pretty good progress with Resistance Retribution. But now... We could have done better. <laughs> we, we could have done better. This I died more this time than two weeks ago. That's for sure. Um, it was great seeing all the new faces. New faces. Uh, here tonight it was uh, thank you so much for joining us um, we will be taking a break from resistance retribution for the next few weeks as we go into our women's history month stream starting next friday with your host cat <laughs> and you will not see me in front of the camera for the next three weeks but you will be on chat but i will be in chat so i will i'm still watching yeah I'm still watching Yes, I will be in chat. I will be right behind that door there, rooting, uh, rooting my team on. They can see the door. 
they can't see the door. No. Just imagine it's a very big door. It's like gray. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. Just yeah. picture that in your brain. But like I said, um, there's going to be auctions going off. So for the highest bidder, you have a chance to take home some really cool things, including, yeah, let's give them away. Yeah. Sure. We have two signed Days Gone Collector's Editions. Uh, so, you know, days, Collector's Editions are hard to come by for Days Gone now. So these two will be signed. Um, we have a Days Gone exclusive art book signed. Yes. Uh, which the exclusive art book is the studio art book. So it's the art book you can't actually purchase. Um, we it's will a very be, exclusive one. Yes. And they, all three of them are signed with a silver marker. Yes. Which makes everything great. so much more like expensive looking. Right, it does. Yeah. We also have two Days Gone autograph posters signed by the team from the development team in 2019. And they have a mini Ranger bear on it. Have you seen it? No, I've never seen it. Like, one of the artists would make oh, a small Oh, that's cool. Bear. <laughs> it's amazing. And we also have a signed God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition signed by game director Eric Williams. It's amazing. And we also have a God of War Ragnarok key art signed by game director Eric Williams. So all that will be auctioned off starting next week. Keep an eye on our Ben Studio social channel. So at Ben Studio everywhere, you will see a blog go live. And that blog will kind of give you some more details about everything about the streams itself and kind of the next three weeks of what we're going to be doing for Ben Plays here on Friday nights. So I'm excited. Kat's super excited. That's scared. <laughs> and it's going to be a fun also time. Scared. So I hope you, you come and join us and uh, support Kat and support all of our awesome Awesome women that are going to be joining. It's going to yeah. be a women's takeover. Yeah. Yeah. It will so be chaos. Get Kevin out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Screw that guy, you know? Yeah. Forget him. So please join us. Um, and is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Is it? Let's go eat. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Everyone, have <laughs> a very great weekend. Uh, go explore virtual worlds and explore real worlds. Play games. Get food. Play games. Get food. Yes. Post us pictures of your food. Post pictures of your food. That <laughs> Dang, I've seen your food. Make Ben's studio like logos out of it, like french oh. fries. That would be amazing. Right? Yeah. Be creative with a Ben logo. Be nice on social media. Spread the positivity. And we will be seeing you around. And we will see you next week, next Friday, right here on twitch.tv slash Ben Studio. Yes. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye. See ya. Thank you.